Hola amigos, we have a new class for you today. Today we are going to learn the imperativos in Spanish. Now what does imperativos mean? Imperativos means the order formation. How we give orders or how we give commands to other people. Okay, uh, what is the formula? What is the way we do the formations? of the AR, ER and IR verbs. Okay, this is also very simple. Today I will teach you the uh, regular verbs. Uh, we will do the irregular formations. There are some verbs uh, that are irregular in the formation of the command. That we will do uh, in the next class. Okay, we will uh, take care of that separately. So let's pay attention and learn how we do the orders in the regular verbs in Spanish okay and order again is for example in English we say okay go to bed okay eat your dinner okay listen to the radio how do we make these formations in Spanish now we'll do one by one first the AR verbs okay now orders we can we cannot give orders to ourselves and we cannot give orders in the we formation so we can only give orders to uh, a second person that is the you formation in the tu and in the usted and in the you all formation and of course in the vosotros formation we are not covering vosotros formation because basically my classes are dedicated to those who are learning uh, US Spanish so how do we make these formations for the AR verbs uh, an order in the tu we just remove the R from the verb. So hablar would be, we just remove this, we left with habla. So if I tell, for example, someone in front of me, talk to Juan, I'll say, habla con Juan. Now if you're going to say it in the respectful form or in the usted form, we will replace the A with an E. So it will become hable con Juan. Now, if you're giving the order to more than one person, then to make the command plural, we will add an N to the usted formation. So it will become hablen con Juan. So if I'm telling more than one person to speak to Juan, I'll say hablen con Juan. Now the ER verbs and the IR verbs formations are exactly identical. Now, how do we do these formations? Again, the rule is basically the same. Uh, we remove the R from the ER verbs. So for example, comer, which is to eat, we are left, left with come in the two formation. So if I want to tell somebody, eat well, I'll say come bien. Now if I want to do this in the usted formation, it'll be exactly the opposite. We'll replace the E with an A. So it'll become coma bien, okay, if I'm talking to someone in the respectful form. So it's come bien in the tu formation, coma bien in the usted formation. Now again, if you want to make the ER verb formation into plural, we'll add the N in the usted form, so it'll become coman bien. So this is the formation. IR verbs follow exactly the same pattern as the ER verbs. We will remove the R from the ending of the verb, and we will replace the I with an E. Okay, so it's exactly the same as the ER formation. So abrir, what does abrir mean? Abrir means to open. So abrir will become in the two formation, abre. For example, abre la puerta, open the door. Then to make it into the usted form, we will again do exactly what we did in the ER formation. We will replace the E with an A. So it will become abra, abra la puerta. Okay, if you're talking respectfully, to somebody will say abra la puerta and again in the ustedes formation if you're talking to more than one person we will say we will add the end to it to make it plural so it will become abran la puerta if i'm telling more than one person to open the door i'll tell them abran la puerta or abran la puerta por favor okay so these are the formations of the command for regular verbs now how do we give negative commands what does a negative command mean? A negative command means to tell someone not to do something. Okay, for example, 
now if I want to change this uh, talk to Juan or uh, you all talk to Juan if I want to tell somebody don't talk now what do we do this formation is also not difficult it only changes in the two formation usted and ustedes formation remains exactly the same as the positive order so for the two formation and negative order in the AR verbs we'll replace the A of the two with an ES so the two formation of a negative order for example I'm asking someone or I'm telling somebody don't open the door I'll say or don't talk for example in this case no hables okay don't talk now an example don't talk to me how will I tell someone don't talk to me no hables conmigo and in the usted form it's exactly the same usted form order was hable or hable con Juan the negative form would be no hable no hable con Juan and the ustedes formation is, exa is exactly the same no hablen same is the case for er and ir verbs it only changes in the two formation here so the come will change into as we, we will replace the e with an as so no commas okay if i want to tell somebody don't eat sweets in the two formation i'll say no commas dulces and the other two formations are exactly the same as the order and same is the case for IR verbs again it only changes in the two formation so we'll replace the E of the abre with AS so it will become if, you, if I want to tell someone don't open the door I'll tell them no abras la puerta ok so it will change to AS the two other formations for usted and ustedes are exactly the same as the order Okay, so it's abra la puerta, no abra la puerta. Abran la puerta, no abran la puerta. So my friends, this was today's class. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, keep uh, tuning into my channel. Keep listening to my classes. Keep, keep learning my lessons. And very soon, you will be perfect in the Spanish language. Thank you.